Hi everyone, today we're going to do a Canva tutorial. Have you ever seen a verse in the Bible or a quote or a saying and you say, that's going to be great inspiration, I want to pretty it up and put it on my office wall, on the refrigerator, in a frame, put it in your bedroom, just a constant reminder of either God's word or a saying that you have learned. Well, we're going to use Canva, which is a free online software program that is a graphic design tool that will help non-graphic designers create something for their home. All right, let's dive in. All right, I'm using Workana right here. This is my um, tab environment here. And I could click it right here as a shortcut key. But what we're going to do is start from Canva. You can go to canva.com. And I'm going to skip the whole logging in, making an account. Again, I said it's free, free, free. Uh, I like free. I don't know about you. Uh, but right now, I really needed some inspiration. You ever have one of those weeks where it's just like, I need God's word in my life. So, James 1, 4 is the verse of inspiration. So, I'm just going to enter it into the Google search And right here we have the verse. I like to use Bible Gateway. But let patience have her perfect work. Let patience have her perfect work. Um, this is the King James Version. So it continues with that. Yea, ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. But what I really wanted to do is let patience have her perfect work. Right now with virtual homeschooling and other family things that are happening, I need patience in my heart and in my mind. So I wanted to create a verse art to put right center in our living room to constantly remind me, maybe even in the virtual homeschooling room where patients, let patients have her perfect work. All right, so we have our inspiration. Now we can also put James 1, 4. If you put the space there, it will automatically recognize. If you put the colons there, it won't. I'm just going to do images right here in this area. And you can see there's lots of inspiration here. Um, the closest one would probably be this one. And it's James 1, verses 2 through 4 which I love James 1, 2 as well. Consider it pure joy. And since we're going to print this out, or I, I plan on doing that, a white background is really what I'm looking for. We can do something with the uh, vines there. Here's another one. Someone made this so it's a phone wallpaper. We can do that in Canva. That's really nice how they did that with the books and the watercolor. It's really nice. All right, so I think we have some nice inspiration. Uh, I think I'm going to go with something like this. So let's see if we can recreate something similar, but with our verse. So you come over here, and since I'm going to print it on a regular um, cardstock, 8.5 by 11, if you just kind of hover over some of these templates right here, program, see program? It says it right here, eight and a half by 11. I'm just gonna click a program. Now I do not have to use their design, it's just there. See, this is a blank slate. So I'm just gonna start with a blank slate. If I wanted to get some ideas, I could come over here. This one with the flowers actually looks interesting. So it has one of two. I like the one with the flowers right there, so I'm going to click that. Look at those. Those are gorgeous. But I don't need the background, and I don't need any of this. But I like the flowers. Look at that. Alright. So now let's go over here to text. Add a heading. And this is, but let patience. And because I know I'm going to want different fonts, I'm going to go over here. 
Now this one is really pretty, but I am paying, paying to upgrade Canva so I can have access to special fonts. So let's not use a special font. Let's go down here. If it has the crown, you don't have access to it in the free version. So let's find one without a crown that is uh, scripty. Here's one right here. Jonathan. This is called the Jonathan. Now you can go up to here and you can change the font by doing like that. Or you can grab this corner and it will also increase, increase it to that. And since these flowers are really pretty, but they're also taken away from the uh, words, I'm going to come up here and change the transparency. Boom. Now you can't really see it. I like that. But let patience. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to use shortcut keys on the keyboard. Control copy, which is hold down the control key and the C key at the same time. Control C copy. Now I'm going to hit control V, control V, and it just made a copy. So that's the copy and paste using your keys. And within Canva, they prefer you to use the keys. Um, you can do it, see, control C and then control V. So I could do that. So if the cursor shows up like that, it's not going to let you do it. You have to click back out and now click it again. And now there's no cursor, there's no line that is bouncing. Copy and then paste. So that's a new feature in Canva that you can do that. All right, so we can say, but let patience have her, and let's go back to the verse, make sure we get perfect work. I love that. Have her, I love how it says her perfect work. If you ever read in Proverbs, it talks about wisdom. It also refers to wisdom as a she, patience as a she, these virtues in your life. I like when it gives you that connotation that it's a female. So maybe as a female, I need to practice more wisdom and patience. Let patience have her perfect work. All right, so if we look at this, the script is a little hard to read, at least for all of it. So let's go in here. It says that um, serif fonts are better, like this one right here, to read. But let patience, see that looks nice. But patience is really small then, and that is way. But I wonder if I say if I do the lower. But let patience. All right, I like the perfect. So, so now I want to do another copy paste have her, see, and then we'll get rid of have her. And you see it's a hot mess right now, and that's okay. We don't need it to be perfect. This is for our home. This is for us to have God's word in our life, to remind us that to have patience in our life. All right? But let patience have her. All right, I'm going to make that bigger too. Have her perfect work. Look at that. I kind of like that already. All right, so now I'm going to pull it down. You see those pink lines? One going across the middle and one going up and down. That's telling you that it's centered on the um, paper. So now you know it's going to be centered when you print it. But let patience have her perfect work. All right, now this looks a little too close. So I'm probably going to grab that, and now I'm going to hold down the shift key and grab that one too. And now with my arrows, I'm just going to bring it down and over, kind of, there you go, space it out just a little. Because I feel like the flowers might be too big. Let's kind of make it smaller. You know, I can go up here and I can position this in the middle and center. 
And I didn't have to try to maneuver it underneath the words. All right, and that's needs a space up a little bit. Have her now it's right in the middle. But let patience have her perfect work. All right, I think this needs to go up some. Patients have her perfect work. All right. Now we're going to put one more font. You see how I just went over here? I have text right here. So I just added a text. All right. Now you see how on here it has the four arrows one, two, three, four going. That means you can grab it and move it. So now I'm going to click and I'm going to grab that and pull it down. And this is where we're going to write. James 1 4 King James Version and then in italics paraphrase just so we know that it's just one little part we don't want anyone to think that you know we're trying to change and manipulate God's Word it's just that right there sometimes I just want just that one little piece and I am pulling it out of context but right now I'm applying it to life right now. I need to hear God's word reverberate in my heart, mind, soul, and throughout my home. We are to write his word on our door frames and uh, gate posts. So this is a way that we can still do this and not have to go buy something at you know the store and spend money. The only thing I'm spending money on is ink and cardstock, cardstock paper and I can make 30 of these and give them out to friends at a baby shower or um, a going away gift or something like that. You know, you could create this and make these into gifts. And that's really big, so I'm going to pull it down instead of having to go up there and change the font there. This is my new little shortcut. And wait till that pink thing gets there. Bring it up to right below. There you go. King. James version, James 1 4, but let patience have her perfect work. All right? This was not supposed to be a perfect work, but it was supposed to be a quick and easy tutorial on how to create a verse art image for your home. All right? I can't wait to see your work, and if you want a copy of this one, I have a blog post below that you can go and get this, and you don't have to make it yourself, and save it as a PDF and print it for your home. And if you do that, I would love to see these images up on your walls, on your refrigerators, or even on your smartphones. So thanks for watching.